I want to talk about what everybody is talking about, what everybody is thinking about, what everybody is feeling. <sighs> this thing that goes around the world right now, it's... I keep saying the same thing. It's weird. I mean, it's not something you can grab onto. It's not something you can see. You can hear about it and you can, of course, follow the precautions that each individual country sets out in order to stop the spread or diminish the spread or just, I don't know, keep people safe. It is... It's weird. I mean, I keep wondering what the role of social media is throughout all this. Obviously, a lot of mis, uh, mis information is spread, uh, rumors are spread, but at the same time, there's also this feeling that we can take comfort in each other uh, because during times of, for example, war, you know, you would take shelter. Uh, you would take shelter together. You would pass through the storm, like, uh, you know, sitting through a hurricane in parts of the world where you have that. But the thing that we cannot be together, I think that is the thing that messes the most with our heads. The fact that we can't gather and ride out this storm together. We have to do it separately and through mediums like this. Uh, calling people, uh, texting people, are you okay, how, how are you feeling, so that we can vent. I mean, I am fortunate enough to not only have a wife that you know I obviously share this apartment with, and a cat, uh, but the fact I also have this, this camera in front of me as an outlet where I can, I can say things, I can feel things, and uh, I, it's never been my intention to kind of I don't know, cause panic or make people feel too much or, or too less. But to have a conversation about what we're going through because, you know, years from now we're going to look back at this year as something extraordinary, extraordinary uh, in so many ways of how our lives halted. It wasn't just an airline that went on strike, uh, which meant that people had difficulties, you know, getting where they needed to go. It is this, everybody's affected. Everybody's affected by this. And the fact that countries are taking precautions, even down to uh, some countries where you can only meet uh, two people uh, in a certain place, an open space, which is, of course, I mean, I haven't felt anything like that since I flew on Delta on my way to Atlanta where we couldn't be more than four people standing up, otherwise you have to get back to your seat. I'm like, I'm waiting for the toilet to have to go back to your seat. Wow, thanks Delta, thanks for being human with my need to poop. But this, 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 and I feel like I want to, I mean, the, the, um, the instrumental feeling I have in my body is that I, I just want to I just want to go on vacation until this is over. But that's the thing, I can't go on vacation because there are no airplanes flying, basically. Uh, you can't get into countries and you're better off just staying where you are. We just have to ride out this storm together and keep talking about it. You know, we can make fun of it. That's a way to handle things. Um, but still, take care of each other. Call each other. Be in touch with each other. Um, a friend of mine in the States uh, said uh, something I hadn't thought about, but uh, of course, call uh, your elders, the ones who are in, or the people that are in the, the so-called risk group, but also friends that are single and without children, uh, especially if they are in lockdown. Uh, get in touch with them, call them, and just... I mean, it's only been, for, for at least for us in Sweden, it's only been little over a week, almost two weeks, and we don't know how long the storm is going to be. We just have to make the best of it and just try to cheer each other up. There will be a tomorrow, there will be laughter, there will be concerts, there will be sports, and there will be something to look back on. 
and we have to make decisions now of what we want this time to be and how we want this time to shape us for the future. So stay safe, stay sensible, and do your best. That's all we can do. Good talk.